Then we move on to part D. Let's just move that up a bit. Okay, part D. So we have to find the value of k now. So if we're given this inequality, then we can find what's called the critical values. That's where this factor and this factor would equal zero. So for the critical values, okay, the critical values, that would be where 3k minus 100 equals zero or the k plus 35 equals zero. And that would lead to the values of k being equal to 100 over 3, 100 thirds, or k would be equal to negative 35. Now what we know in this is that k stands for the number of rows that we have. So k must be a positive integer. Okay, you can't have like two and a half rows or anything like that or minus three rows. K is a positive integer. So that means that K equaling negative 35 is not valid for this question. Now 100 divided by 3, 100 thirds, is 33 and a third. And K we said had to be a positive integer. So I can't have 33 and a third rows. So what I must have must be to take that down to the nearest integer. So that would be 33. So therefore, since k must be a positive integer, let's just write that in, that k must be a positive integer, okay, then k must equal 33. Okay, so I hope you've got that. And that's the end of this question.